the automotive uh, industry has been dramatically impacted by supply chain disruption. Uh, it started with the pandemic, and then I would say it was, you know, all the direct and indirect impacts associated with it. I think most notable was semiconductor. Um, in the products that we produce, we're not directly impacted by semiconductor availability, but certainly our customers were, and that created uh, tremendous disruption to uh, our customers' ability to operate their manufacturing sites. We're a just-in-time supplier of product to them. We essentially ship um, about every two hours to most of our customers. Um, so when they are disrupted, we're immediately impacted. So it's it's been it's been a real challenge, first and foremost, uh, just from a revenue and, and a production standpoint. It's also impacted um, our customers in Europe as well. Um, so you know, once supply chains maybe started to ease a little bit, you had the war in Ukraine. I think that really exposed our European customers um, how vulnerable their supply chains were to geopolitical tensions uh, that are existing in Europe right now. Uh, just to give you an example, probably about 60% of the wire harnesses that are used in automotive production were coming out of the Ukraine. They had an industry that employed about 60,000 employees producing wire harnesses. So when the war broke out, uh, that supply chain was uh, immediately disrupted. And really what's resulted with all of this is, um, and this is true for us as well, is, is everyone had to re-examine, um, you know, how deep their supply chains ran in where product was ultimately coming from and what kind of vulnerability was out there. Um, so the most immediate actions, as you would expect, is uh, people built inventories to provide some level of buffer, but you know, that is at best a, a, you know, a short-term uh, fix. Um, really what, what has occurred, I would say, over the last 18 months is this concept of, of you know, dual sourcing or, or multi-sourcing uh, the supply chain so that it, you're not dependent solely on a, a supplier in a region um, that, that can you know, virtually shut down your ability to manufacture product. And that's certainly something that we've done. So there's been a fair amount of reshoring. We'll probably talk about this a little bit later on. But really our approach and, and many of the others in the automotive market is to say, you know, for critical products, um, they have to have multiple points of capacity that they can go to so that if any one of those chains is disrupted, uh, they can uh, pivot and, uh, and exploit an, an alternative source. <laughs>